he let Paedo to talk to himself. That's not good, you know. Karma does exist. Once you graduate and you are becoming a speaker someday, and anyway, all the participants are turning off the camera, how do you feel? So I want you please to turn your camera on, make your camera position on point. I need to see not only your forehead, but I need to see your face until your shoulder at least. Okay. And I am going to ask one student here to make me a Google spreadsheet, okay, consisting of students' attendance. So the only one who can access the Google spreadsheet is me and the one who will take the responsibility for it. Okay, but before that, I am going to pick one student over here to uh, guide all the kids to stand up, to check the uniform, okay, to have the prayer, and also greeting the teachers. And I would like to welcome Nisa Fatiha, please. Uh, uh, before we study, let's pray together. Try begins. Okay. Uh, before we study, uh, we check our uniform first. Stand up. Okay, most of the students are not wearing the vest today. What happened with the vest? Kenapa kok nggak dipakai rompinya? Kalau nggak ngerti bahasa Inggris, nah mungkin ya anak CBBS nggak ngerti bahasa Inggris. Tapi kelas ini tuh dari minggu kemarin emang bener-bener ya. Kenapa nggak dipakai rompinya? Ketinggalan di sekolah, belum dicuci. Atau gimana? Yeah, yeah, miss. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Uh, because I didn't back my, didn't bring back my uh, uniform. So what do you wear right now? Because I couldn't see your uniform. What do you wear right now? Thank you, Sharif. Yang lain gimana? Capek deh Miss Nen itu sama kelas ini. Gak pernah ada yang mau jawab gitu loh. Mau belajar gak sih? I'm, I'm sorry, I forget to bring my uniform. I just bring the white uniform because I need to make a photo. So where did you put your uniform? Eh? Yeah. Where did you put your uniform? Is it in CMBBS? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yang lain gimana? I'm sorry, miss. Uh, I will bring my rompi because there is in my in my home. Oke, okay, thank you. Silakan duduk kembali. Sandy mau tanya deh, kamu mau belajar bahasa Inggris nggak sih? Tadi sama Pak Edo belajar apa sih kalau boleh tahu? Diajarin apa tadi sama Pak Edo?
Mm, so you were talking about uh, TOEFL agendas for the second semester, kemudian uh, class rules, yang kayak gitu, kayak gitu ya. Tapi kok Miss Nani lihat nggak pada nyalain kamera itu kenapa, nak? Habis kuotanya. Di rumah nggak pakai wifi. Jujur. Habis kuotanya ya? Nggak, karena pakai wifi di rumah. Masa iya buat main Valorant cukup kuotanya, tapi buat Zoom gak cukup. Sebetulnya kalau kamu konfirmasi, misalnya Assalamualaikum Miss Neni, mohon izin untuk tidak menyalakan kamera. Kenapa nak misalnya? Saya tidak punya cukup kuota, jadi saya izin untuk off cam. Itu lebih baik. Suara saya kedengeran kecil apa besar atau jelas nggak sih di kalian? Jelas, Miss. Jelas, Miss. Jelas, nggak kekecilan? Enggak, Miss. Saya kuatir suara saya terlalu kecil sehingga tidak ada yang merespon, jadi tidak terdengar. Jadi kalau kalian menemukan kayak Miss, Miss Nani nge-lag, ini suaranya gak kedengeran, itu kamu harus bilang. Ya. Oke, okay, Syarif, setelah ini kamu harus membuat Google Spreadsheet ya. Isinya adalah nomor, kemudian list nama teman-teman kamu di kelas 12 IPA 3, kemudian list tanggal, sampingnya misalnya sekarang tanggal 11. 12 Januari, kemudian minggu depan berarti kita tanggal berapa? 12 tambah 7, berarti di tanggal 19 Januari. Nah, di situ nanti kamu tinggal checklist, 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 isi teman-teman sesuai dengan kehadirannya setiap hari. Paham? Paham, Miss. Kemudian Sarif juga bertugas untuk mengingatkan atau me-WhatsApp Miss Neni untuk setiap schedule-nya. Misalnya Miss Neni, hari ini di CMBBS ada kegiatan ini-ini, jadi kelas kita tidak bisa misalnya mengikuti pelajaran. Atau kamu mengecek Miss Neni apakah hari ini akan melalui Zoom ataukah akan melalui uh, asinkronus dan lain sebagainya. Bisa dipahami? Bisa, Miss. Oke, okay. please welcome Sharif. I need you to check all the kids attendance for today. Oke. Okay. Uh... We check the attendance today. Uh, please, when I call your name, please say present. Okay. First, uh, Olivia. Present. Arifin. Present. Arik. Okay. Kika. Present. Uh, Milda. Present. Yifari. Yifari. Okay, Hania. Present. Asna. Present. Mahes. Present. Lintang. Present. Hendrik. Bilang. Present. Iman. Present. Kaisan. Rashid. Present. Azmi. Present. Munaya. Present. Nana. Oke. Okay. Nisa Fatihah. Present. Buan. Present. Aska. Present. Riva. Oke. Okay. Syafika. Present. Sabina. Present. Oke, 
uh, you absent today uh, in the meeting. There is twenty one. Eh, yeah, twenty one. Ten twenty one and four. Not uh, attend the meeting today. Okay, would you mind please telling me the name of the four students who didn't attend today's class? Uh, Arik Putra Arik. Mm -hmm. And then Givari Ananda Verdaus. Mm -hmm. uh, Kaisan Radin. Mm -hmm. And Riva Nurapriyanti. There are five then. So I can see Givari is here, but I don't. I haven't heard about the name that you said before, but let me first check about the students who haven't turned the camera on. It's Gifari Ananda, Alifia Salsa, and also Muhammad, Muhammad Kaisan. Thank you, Ahmad Sharif, for helping me checking all the kids' attendance. Do not forget, you got to make a Google spreadsheet, so it's going to make you easier to check all the kids' attendance over there and to report it to me, okay? And do not forget to always check about the next meeting with me, okay? If you do have any internet connection issue or device issue, one of the member in the class, you are going to let me know, okay? Like Miss Nanny, I'm so sorry. Ten of our students in the class couldn't join your meeting today because they have got a seminar, for example, international seminar with Japan Foundation or something like that. Understandable? Yes, Miss. Yes, Miss. Thank you for understanding. Let's start today's English session by reciting Basmala. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, kids, take a look at me right now. I have been checking about your English uh, textbook and more of the students or most of the students are not having it right now because you are only having the book from the schools. Am I right? Yes. Okay. And I have been using that book for like years and years and I don't find it so communicative and I don't find it really relatable with your need Okay, to have an English class, especially with me. So let's skip the books, but I want you please to prepare your pen and also your notes so you can write every important information. Because the most important for English is to apply it in your real life, not only spoken, but also written. And also you have to read the English well so you do understand the content or the information in the text. That's really important for your students. Okay, if you have got your pen or pencil and notes, I want you please to show it to the camera so I can check it. Okay, thank you, Juan. Thank you, Nisa Fatiha, for showing it. Thank you, Tabina, Najwa, and Hania. Okay, good job. Today, we are going to be talking about, let me share the screen. Okay, can you see the screen that I share with you right now, kids? Yes, miss. Okay, can you see activity 10 over there? Yes. Okay, activity 10, can you see it clearly or not? Here is activity 10. This one, can you see it? Yes, miss. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah. Okay. In activity 10, we will study the table. Okay. We are going to complete the words in the fast file. Oh, sorry. Fact file below. Listen and check. Okay. Where is the fact file, Miss Nanny? There's the fact file actually over there. But I want you please to uh, pay attention to the pronunciation. So I am going to pick one random student here to repronounce all the disease that we have on the box. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Ready? Yes, miss. Okay, listen to it first. 
Did you know your whole body can feel pain except for the brain? That's why doctors can do an operation on somebody's brain while they're awake. Humans are sometimes allergic to their pets, but cats and dogs can also have allergies to humans. Chewing gum helps you to calm down when you're stressed, but it isn't a new idea. The ancient Greeks chewed gum from the mastic tree thousands of years ago. Have you cut your finger? Sugar can stop an infection from developing, but if it gets worse, always see your doctor. It's not unusual to suffer from seasickness during a cruise, but some people also feel dizziness when they arrive home, even sailors, and it can last for months or years. Ten percent of the population are dyslexic and can find reading difficult. However, people with dyslexia are often brilliant at doing puzzles. Okay, have you listened to it? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I want you please to take a look at the box right now. Can you see the box over there? Did you know? Can you see the box? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want you please now to write on your notes number one until number ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Number one is for the example. The answer is pain for number one. You have to find out the answer for number two, the answer for number three, until number ten. Understandable? Yes, ma'am. In listening sections, your ears are listening, your eyes are reading, and your hands are writing. So you need to be focused on it. Okay? You ready? Ready, ma'am. Ready? I am going to play the audio again. Listen to it. Did you know your whole body can feel pain except for the brain? That's why doctors can do an operation on somebody's brain while they're awake. Humans are sometimes allergic to their pets, but cats and dogs can also have allergies to humans. Chewing gum helps you to calm down when you're stressed, but it isn't a new idea. The ancient Greeks chewed gum from the mastic tree thousands of years ago. Have you cut your finger? Sugar can stop an infection from developing, but if it gets worse, always see your doctor. It's not unusual to suffer from seasickness during a cruise, but some people also feel dizziness when they arrive home, even sailors, and it can last for months or years. Ten percent of the population are dyslexic, and can find reading difficult. However, people with dyslexia are often brilliant at doing puzzles. Have you found all the answers? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Do not forget there will be difference between allergics and allergies. You have to pay attention to it. Even though they similar pronouncing by the speaker, similar pronounce by the speaker, but you got to be careful. Let us start with number one. If you have done it all, I am going to start with, okay, now the first paragraph, I think I'm going to be picking one student over here. Please welcome Miss Puan. I want you please to read the whole paragraph. Sorry, the first whole, the first whole paragraph. Okay. 
Your whole body can feel pain except for the brain. That's why doctors can do an operation on somebody's brain while they're awake. So that is why doctors can do an operation? Yes. How do you spell operation? O P O P E R A R A T I I O N. Oh, thank you, Puan. Operation. Good job. Would you mind please speaking one student to read the second paragraph? Pick one student to read the second paragraph. Handy. Handy, go ahead. Okay, would you mind please spell? How do you spell allergy? Okay. L, L, and then A. R G E this one double L So how do you spell allergic again kids honey A L L L L and then E L R G E or I I and C okay was it true kids allergic is it with I or with Y This one, yeah? Allergic. Good job. Thank you. The next one. Number four, handy. Is it still the same? A. And then? Also have allergic. This one. Thank you, Hendy. Now pick one more student over here to read and answer paragraph three, please. Achit, go ahead. Uh, chewing gum helps you to calm down when you are stressed, but it isn't a new idea. The ancient Greeks chewed gum from the mastic Three thousand of years ago. So, how do you spell stress? S. S. T. T. R. R. E. E. Double S. Double S. Stress without E D behind it. Uh, no. No, be sure. We do have depressed and depressed, and we do have stress and stressed. We need to stay it this way without ED. You sure? Uh, yes. Okay, then, if you are so sure. Go ahead, pick one more student to read the next paragraph, Achit. Ipin, Arifin, Arifin. 
Go ahead, Arifin, please. Miss, miss, sorry, miss, tadi uh, sampai mana ya? Sampai mana, ayo. Sampai mana ya? Uh, have you cut your fingers, bukan, miss? Yes, that is one. Ya, yeah. sekarang giliran kamu yang itu. Have you cut your fingers? Sugars can stop an infection for developing, but if it gets worse, always see your doctor. Have you cut your finger? Finger, okay, bukan finger, tapi finger. Sugar can stop an infection. Infection. How do you spell infection? I. I. N. N. F. F. E. E C C T T I I O O N N N Thank you Arifin good job Please pick one more student to read the next paragraph please Gilang miss Gilang are you there Yes go ahead It's not, it's not unusual. It's not unusual to suffer from seasickness during mm -hmm. a cruise. Mm -hmm. But some people also feel dizziness when they arrive home. Even sailors, and it can last for months or years. Okay, what is number seven answer? Seasickness. How do you spell sickness? S I I C C K K N N E double S double S. Good job. What about number eight? What is the answer for number eight? D D I I double Z double Z I I N N E E double S double S. Thank you. Please pick one more student to read and answer the last paragraph. Arzika. Do we have Arzika today? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. 10% of population are dyslexia and can find reading difficult. However, do you, okay, go ahead. However, people with dyslexic are often brilliant at doing puzzles. Mm -hmm. How do you spell dyslexic for number nine? E. D. Y. Y. S. S. L. L. E. E. X. X. I. I, A. I, I, A, this one? Yes. Okay, what about number 10? D, D, Y, Y, S, S, L, L, E, E, X, X, I, I, C, C, this one, dyslexics, dyslexic, isn't it? Yes, Miss, I think. Thank you. Okay, do you want to write all the answers? Or do you have the same answers? Ya Allah, nggak ada yang jawab. Heran deh maunya apa deh. I have different answers, Miss. Hmm? I have different answers. You have different answers? For which number? Number 4, 9, and 10. What is number 4, your answer? Stress with ED. Stress with ED. What about number nine? 
Dyslexic. Dyslexic. What about number 10? Dyslexia. Dyslexia. Yes. Okay. Now take a look at the screen again. But we have missed all the answers. I am going to replay the audio recording. So listen to every answer. Did you know your whole body can feel pain except for the brain? That's why doctors can do an operation on somebody's brain while they're awake. Humans are sometimes allergic to their pets, but cats and dogs can also have allergies to humans. Chewing gum helps you to calm down when you're stressed, but it isn't a new idea. The ancient Greeks chewed gum from the mastic tree thousands of years ago. Have you cut your finger? Sugar can stop an infection from developing, but if it gets worse, always see your doctor. It's not unusual to suffer from seasickness during a cruise, but some people also feel dizziness when they arrive home, even sailors, and it can last for months or years. 10% of the population are dyslexic and can find reading difficult. However, people with dyslexia are often brilliant at doing puzzles. Okay, so number nine is dyslexic and number ten is dyslexia. Understandable? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Is it time for you to have a break time? Yeah. If you do want to have a break time, so it's time for you to have the break time. Uh, so after the break time, we're going to have another English session, if I'm not mistaken. Am I right? Uh, no, ma'am. No? No, it's supposed on 9.30. Oh, your break time is on 9.30? Yes. At 9.30, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's continue then. Okay, now I am going to go on the next one. Okay, can you see the screen that I share with you kids? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me ask you one question. How often do you get the cold? Do you try to avoid a person who's got a cold? Today, we are having a COVID and Omicron this is like every day from the news and we have been living with this COVID-19 for about two years, right? Yes. Mm -mm. And do you often get cold? Not really. Not really. And do you try to avoid a person who's got a cold? Not, no, I think. No. Sometimes we have to avoid them, okay? Just make sure that we are going to be safe. Okay? Sekarang Miss Nenny mau kasih lihat kalian yang ini nih. Baca dulu nih. Kelihatan enggak? Oh, have you got a gold read on for some great tips? Kelihatan enggak, nak? Kelihatan, Miss. Oke, okay. nah, saya kasih waktu kamu untuk baca ya, Nak ya. Ini selama dua menit aja silahkan dari sini sampai sini. Silahkan dibaca. Jelas enggak tulisannya apa terlalu kecil? Jelas, Miss. Jelas, oke. Okay. Silahkan dibaca dua menit ya, saya izin ke toilet sebentar.
I'm sorry, Miss. You're still muted. I'm sorry. Have you done reading? Yes. Okay. I am going to pick one student here to read aloud, and it goes to Kumara Mahes. Go ahead. Yes. Have you got yes? Have you got the call? Read on for some great tips. Always with a call. Perhaps you don't feel like eating, but your body body needs vitamins. So it's vitamins. Vitamins. So it's small months regularly. Try hot chicken soup. Your body needs food and water. Hot soup clears your nose and the water in, in it hydrates you. Fresh air won't make you cold. Your cold worse and might make your, your you feel better. But if you go outside, remember to wear to wear one warm clothes. Don't get too hot. Some people think it's good to sweat if you you have got a cold, but you you will feel worse. Get lots of vitamin C. You don't have to drink lots of oranges. Some green vegetables have more vitamin C in them. So try some broccoli. Thank you, Kumara. I am going to pick another student from the call. And please welcome Putri Aska. Do you have Putri Aska today? Yes. Okay, sure. please read aloud. Have you got a cold? Read on for some great tips. Always with a cold. Perhaps you don't feel like eating, but your body needs vitamins. So eat small amounts regularly. Try hot chicken. Try hot chicken soup. Your body needs food and water. Hot soup clears your nose and the water in it hydrates you. Fresh air won't make fresh air won't make your cold worse and might make you feel better. But if you go outside, remember to wear warm clothes. Don't get too hot. Some people think it's good to sweat if you got a cold. If you've got a cold, but you will feel worse. Get lots of vitamin C. You don't have to drink lots of orange juice. Some green vegetables have more vitamin C in them. So try some broccoli. Okay, sometimes, thank you Putriyaska and Kumara, we misunderstood that when we get cold, we wear jacket and blankets and we try to manage our body to produce sweat, right? So after sweating a lot, we will feel okay, but that's actually not okay, kids, because we got when we've got cold, all what our body needs is water and vitamin C. So it's better for us to keep hydrated, okay, and keep our body with the vitamin C. And don't you feel the same with me? Every time I got cold, I like to eat some soup or bakso, something really, really hot. Don't you feel the same? Yes, miss. Mm -mm. And it said that chicken soup is actually good for your body. Okay. It will help you to clear your nose and the water in a soup will hydrate your body as well. Good job. Thank you, Kumara and also Putri Aska. Let's continue to the next one. Okay, after reading the poster, I am going to play an audio recording. You have to remember what you read and you have to mark the sentence if it is true or false. Don't worry, you don't need to reread, but you, all you need to do is to listen to it. Now, I want you please to write one, two, three, four, and five. And please write all the statements that I have here on my box, please. Please write. Number one, 
and then make a space. You should try to stop eating when you have got a cold. Please write them down on your notes, all of it, all the statements. Okay, have you done writing? Have you done it or not yet? Not yet. Okay, if you have done, now I am going to play the audio recording, listen to it. Choo! Have you got a cold? Read on for some great tips. Always feed the cold. Perhaps you don't feel like eating, but your body needs vitamins, so eat small amounts regularly. Try hot chicken soup. Your body needs food and water. Hot soup clears your nose and the water in it hydrates you. Fresh air won't make your cold worse and might make you feel better. But if you go outside, remember to wear warm clothes. Don't get too hot. Some people think it's good to sweat if you've got a cold, but you will feel worse. Get lots of vitamin C. You don't have to drink loads of orange juice. Some green vegetables have more vitamin C in them. So try some broccoli. Thank you. Okay, point please number one. I want you please to read the statement and give me your answer. Is it true or false? You should try to stop eating when you've got a cold. The answer is false. So should I put F over here? Yes. Thank you, Puan, for your answer. Next one, number two. I'm going to be picking. Oh, let Puan pick another student over here. Please pick another student, Puan. Munaya. Munaya, you there? Yes, miss. Okay, go read the second statement. Soup can help a cold, but you must drink water with it. The answer is true. 
The answer is true. Good job. Please pick one more student, Munaya. Najwa, Miss. Do we have Najwa today? Mm. Olivia. Do we have Olivia today? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead, Olivia, number three, please. Going outside can help when you've got a cold. Is it true or false? True. True. Good job. Number four, please pick one more student, Olivia. Uh, Hania. Hania, do you have Hania today? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead, please. Number four, sweating won't make you feel better. Mm -hmm. The answer is true. The answer is true. Good job. Please pick another student to read and answer number five, honey. Shafika. Sha Shafika? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay. Do we have Safika today? Yes, miss. Go ahead. Louder, please. Orange juice is the best source of vitamin C. The answer was it true? The answer is false. Why don't you think orange juice is the source, the best source of the vitamin C? Do we have something else as the best source of vitamin C, Shafika? Vegetables. Vegetables, good. Thank you so much, kids. Do you think English is easy? Yeah, English is easy. What makes it difficult is the vocabularies that we don't actually use on now in our daily life. And there is nothing that we can do to improve our vocabulary. You have to be more exposed to the English speaking film or movies, okay? English songs, or you can also speak with a native. It will help you a lot with your vocabularies and you won't find any difficulty. But to me, for myself, the most difficult thing in English is to read and to find the real answer or the real information and to try to understand what the writer tried to inform us, the reader. And sometimes it makes us confused. It goes the same to make us understand with our higher order thinking. So we just can't understand because we do know the vocabulary as well, no. But we have to understand the information, not only because of our vocabulary mastery, but also with our highest order thinking. And how to make our hearts better, Miss Nanny, is to read more to watch the news more, to try to analyze every information that you have. Okay? Okay, Miss. Nah, Miss Nenny, lihat ini ada beberapa nih yang missing. Tanpa izin, bener nggak sih, nak? Sekarang, I want Sharif to check again the attendant list. Yang dijadikan acuannya adalah yang sekarang ya nak ya. Silahkan Sarif. Oke. Okay. Uh, we will check the attendance again. Uh, so when I call your name, please say present. Oke. Okay. Olivia Salsana Wila Putri. Present. Oke. Okay. Arifin Nur Muhammad Haris. Present. Oke. Okay. Mari Putra Kelana, sakit. Harzika Raisa Pamukar. Present. Alfrida Farhatumilda. Present. Yifari Ananda Firdaus. Hania Zivana Salsa Bila. Present. Hasna Aulia Arista Widya. 
Oke, uh, Kumara Mahesora Azizi. Azan. Intang Gusti Kinanti. Azan. Muhammad Farid Hendianto. Muhammad Gilang Ainur Rizki. Azan. Muhammad Iman Nugraha. Oke, ada. Muhammad Kaisan Rajin. Ada. Muhammad Rashid Ramadan. Azan. Muhammad Yusuf Alazmi. Azan. Oke. Munaya Sabrina Azmita. Azan. Najwa Khairun Nisa. Nah, Oke. Okay. Uh, Nisa Fatiha Putri Soliha. Azan. Puan Suri Gading. Azan. Putri Aska Sipa Ramadan. Oke, okay, Rifa Sakit Safika Zahratun Nisa Oke, okay, Tabina Hanal Zena Present Oke okay. uh, Until now Usmat uh, Joining the meeting uh, Arik And Rifa Uh, Sip and Kaisan Iman Yufari. Okay, thank you for helping Kaisan Iman and Yufari. They were here, but they missed. When I ask my permission to go to the toilet, I think some of the students are missing. That's okay. Uh, Sarif, do not forget to make the Google spreadsheet so I can check it. Yeah. Okay. And kids, okay, do not forget to always expose yourself, okay, to English. You can read news, you can watch movie, you can listen to the English song. But please, the more you expose yourself to English, the better understanding you will have, okay? Yes. Because when we are learning a language, we need to use the language. Language will be deaf if we don't use it. Even if we don't use Bahasa Indonesia, Bahasa Indonesia will also extinct from the world. Even if we don't use Bahasa Sunda, Bahasa Sunda, the language will also extinct will lost from the world so the more you expose yourself to the language the better understanding you will have and it goes the same for english thank you for today i'm gonna be seeing you again inshallah next week let's end today's english session by reciting hamdallah Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Thank you, Ben.